the Jaws film series franchise. A very interesting one. In what most people consider one of the greatest movies of all time. In Jaws. And the rest, what many consider absolute failures as sequels. It's a film series that, that I've grown up watching and fond memories of. And it's one that I've been wanting to, to do a ranking on. And so let's get the, the ranking started at number four. And I guess this is where the controversy starts. I know it's not of the popular belief, but I have Jaws 2 at number four. Big reason I have Jaws 2 at number four is it just feels so long. It drags on and drags on. The first one, it feels like you're, you're right into it. You know, the story just seems to go quick. And then once you get to the part where they're on the boat, it's just some of the best cinema that we've ever seen. And with Jaws 2, you know, it, it sort of drags on. And I, I have a hard time watching it. It feels like it's a three-hour movie, but it's just under two hours. So absolutely love the ending. But the characters, you know, with the whole, the, the, the kids on the boats and all that, it just kind of, it feels long in the tooth. It's the least rewatchable for me. And that's why I have Jaws 2 at number four. And what I will say about the second one is as much, it feels like an absolute continuation from the first one. It's like one of the, I want to say one of a, maybe two or three fi film series that I know of where the first feels identical to the second the other movies I think that are like that are Halloween 1 and 2, Friday the 13th 1 and 2, number 3, Jaws 4. I know everybody absolutely despises this movie. It's ranked one of the worst sequels in film history, and I'm going to try to defend it. For some reason, I have a special place for this movie. I saw it as a kid, and I, I actually enjoy it. I really like the characters in it. You get Lorraine Gary back. You get Mario Van Peebles, who his character Jake is incredible. You get Lance Guest playing um, Mike Brody, who I really, I really like his take on Mike Brody. You get my favorite, Michael Caine as Hoagie. This movie is ridiculous. The fact that there's a shark, you know, coming after their family. But I, I love the music. I love the feel. It just has its own unique kind of creepy, eerie way about it. I just saw the, the regular version recently where the shark like explodes. The version that I always saw was the one where she impales the shark and Jake ends up dying. So I, I, after seeing this, I had no idea that they have him living because they got re-edited because of the reaction. I can rewatch this movie and I, I, I enjoy it. Number two, Jaws 3. I know it. I know it. People hate this movie. It's very hokey and, and a lot of comedy and a lot of gags and jokes. And, but for me, I really enjoy watching this movie. You get Dennis Quaid. You get... The guy who played in Family Ties is Alex's friend when they go to a bar when he turns 18. We get Louis Gossett Jr., whose role is incredible in this. You get the two uh, British guys. Um, I don't know their names off the top of my head, but Philip Fitzroy is just incredible in this. The girl that plays uh, Mike's girlfriend she's very good i just i don't know i i really love this movie the concept of it you know c capturing a shark and bringing it into a a sea world and just the whole concept of it is it ridiculous yes but i love this movie i i can enjoy it and it's one of the ones that i can rewatch the most it's not for everybody but me love this movie number one jaws well, there's not really much more that can be said about this movie. It's iconic. It's a classic. It's a, it's a horror masterpiece. It made an entire generation of people not want to go in the water. 
still to this day, they probably don't want to go in the water. It's just paced so perfect. And Roy Scheider and Richard Dreyfus, Quint, are absolutely incredible. The characters, the people who work at the City Hall, it's just an absolute perfect cast. It's terrifying. It's just the pace is absolutely perfect. The ending is incredible. It's just, it's a damn near perfect film. And there's a reason why it's listed as one of the greatest films of all time. So with that being said, I would like to say each of these films has their own unique kind of sound to it. They're very good. Like Each one has its own tone and its own sound to it that sets it apart. I do love this franchise, probably more so than a lot of people. I really can't say too much negative about any of these films because for me personally, I just love them. So let me know what you think about the the videos. Let me know what you think about the movies and which one's your favorite, which ones you like, don't like. But uh, thanks for checking out the channel and have a good day.